Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial series on building websites in R using the Distill package. I've decided to create these tutorials because I recently created a website using Distill for the R Girls organization. R Girls is a worldwide network to promote the use of R in secondary schools. And here I have the R Girls website open up. This is the home page. And you can see right on the home page, we have a lot of interactive buttons. So you can go ahead and click on any of them. For example, this one will take us straight to the Twitter page. And then at the top, we have our navigation bar with a lot of different tabs. For example, we have a blog, a getting started tab, where you can see if we scroll down, there's even embedded YouTube videos. And also a big part of this website and the R Girls organization is creating different lesson plans. So here you can see all of the different lessons created and developed by people all over the world. So I'll just go back to the home page. And I wanted to show you this because in these tutorials, I'll walk you through the steps of exactly how I created this website. I had a lot of fun designing the R Girls website and I learned a lot in the process. So now I want to share everything I learned with you. The goal is for you to follow along and build your own website. Now, please note, I will use this website as a guide, but I won't recreate every single detail on the site. Rather, I'll focus on what I think are the most important features. So with that being said, before we get started creating the website, there are a few things I thought it would be really useful to go over. Of course, I already started off by showing you the R Girls website. And I did want to point out when I learned Distill and how to use it for the first time, I followed along to this really incredible video on YouTube by Dr. Maria Tackett. So this is a really, a really great general overview and introduction to Distill. And I definitely do recommend watching it. And in these tutorials, we'll go through every single step of the way of creating an, and building um, a fully functioning website. Okay, and importantly, you must have a few things installed before getting started. So of course, you'll have to have R and R Studio. And don't worry if you don't, if this is your first time using either, you can go and check out this blog post I wrote and I have instructions for installing R and R Studio, so you can go and check this out here. You'll also need to have a GitHub account, and, and this is because our website will be hosted on GitHub, and it's also a really great method of version control. So just to quickly show you, here is the GitHub website, and it's, very, it's a very easy process to easily sign up if you need to. A few other things to point out in these tutorials, I'll be using R version 4.2.1 and Distill version 1.4. Now, I'm only telling you this just in case you're using a slightly newer version. Hopefully everything will still work the same, but there might be some slight, um, slight modifications. I'll also be using a dark editor theme in R Studio, and I do have the instructions listed here in case you want to adjust your editor theme as well. But I will just quickly show you how to make these changes. So I'll open up our studio. And, and now we're going to go to tools, global options, and appearance. So here you can see we have all of our different editor themes. And you can go through and decide which one you like the best. As I said, I use Tomorrow Night Bright, click Apply and OK. And the second thing I want to point out here is that my R Markdown output is set to Preview in the Viewer pane. And this is as opposed to in a new window. So again, to show you what this is, I will go back to Tools, Global Options and R Markdown, and this is because we will be using R Markdown files. And I believe by default, it will say show output preview in 
window window will be selected. So I I personally like having it in the viewer pane. So I'll click apply and OK. And what this means is here we have our viewer pane over here. So when we go and build our website within our studio, we can actually have a preview of the website right here in our viewer pane in our studio. So I absolutely love that. OK, and finally, I did want to take just a couple of minutes to discuss building websites in R generally. Of course, in these tutorials, we will be using the package distill, but I do want to point out that there are other methods for creating websites in R. Uh, the other one that I am very familiar with is called Blogdown, which is another package in R. Now, I'm sure there are other ways to create amazing websites in R, but these are the two I'm most familiar with. So just to quickly compare and contrast these two, Distill is really great for making simple websites relatively quickly and easily. However, at least compared to Blogdown, there is not as much flexibility. So with Blogdown, we do see a lot more flexibility in terms of the design and layout. However, with that, it's also more complicated and it has more complicated file structures. And so it, this really takes a lot longer to kind of get the hang of. Now, of course, I won't be spending time after this talking about Blogdown, but if you are interested in creating a website using Blogdown, here are some resources for you. I highly recommend Allison Hill's blog, Up and Running with Blogdown. And similar to the tutorials I'll be creating for Distill, my friend Tahila and I actually created a whole YouTube series on um, building websites using our blog down. So you can check out our YouTube playlist here. And again, all of these resources and all of the links will be posted below. Okay, so I wanted to end today's tutorial by showing you some examples of other distill websites just to give you a little bit of inspiration for what you can create. So of course, we've already seen the R Girls website, and this is the one that we will actually be building together throughout these tutorials. Now, I've also created another website, which I have up here, and this was for a series of workshops that I taught along again with my friend Tahila, who, and we taught students all about R, and it was really like an introduction to data science. So this was a lot of fun, and I really wanted to show you this website just to show you how easy and how cool it is to integrate R and your R code directly into your website. So here's an example. I've coded the schedule of the workshops in R, and we also have all of the workshop materials posted straight on the website. So this is really just an RMD file directly on the website. So, so that's really cool. And now, finally, there are some other incredible websites out there, so you can just easily Google distill website examples. And here you can see I've been to this website so many times, all of the great distill websites. And I'll go through just a couple of them, but you'll see a lot of them are actually designed specifically as blogs. So that's one thing that distill is really great for if you're interested in creating blogs. So you can see here, you can even just click on them and see the blogs here. And now I'll go back. And here's another one. So this is a personal website. And I've definitely been on Shannon's website a lot to get some inspiration and ideas. And so you can create your personal websites, websites for courses or workshops, um, or even just your own personal blog. So there's so many amazing things that you can do um, and build with your distill websites. So with that being said, the next, in the next tutorial, we will go ahead and get started by creating our website in Distill. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'll see you there.